Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves, the auto resolve, auto simulate version, playing as Germany. This is episode number two, hopefully we only have like two or three episodes left because we have Rule the Waves 2 coming out very, 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 very soon. Just a couple of days away. So we'll continue our madness, which means bum rush everything. Whole construction, that's good. Um, if we hit, oh, Hawk Party Pass Bill, okay, great. I'm just going to hit enter a whole bunch. I'm not even going to click over there because it takes too long. Major Arms wants to do something that sounds amazing, but I think it's just... Uh, nah, it's fine. It's fine. More money is good. And we're down on money. New docks are complete. Periscopes. We need that technology. Sure. Better submarines, even though we aren't going to use it. We'll take all technology all the time. Um, okay. Uh, oh, they want to buy. Well, it's Italy. Who cares about Italy? We'll take the money. Okay, ship design, medium wing turrets, enable secondary wing double turrets up to 10 inches. This is good. This is actually quite good. So though, we kind of have a dreadnought type thing we can build now, I think. Oh, but this is only up to 10 inches. Never mind. I was mistaken. Wow, we've actually gotten quite a few submarine things. Uprising in China makes it necessary to send expeditionary forces. This is so cool, because having read Dreadnought, this book, um, lately I, I actually understand where these the, the events are coming from. There was a lot of nonsense going on in China. We had the Boxer Rebellion and all that. Uh, we will always do all the things to create tension and money and all that. So monthly balance is good enough that what do we want to do? I guess we want to continue just building the ones we have underway. We're going to wait for Dreadnoughts before we build any other bigger capital ships. We probably could start getting more. Yes, we'll take another one of those because 10% is too good to pass up. Use it to embarrass France. And I'm actually happy to fight France instead of... What? Didn't we already fight France? <laughs> it was a France, the War with France Part 2? Uh, that's fine. With the auto sim, we're just going to have to use numbers. The rising threat from France persuades Parliament to authorize additional funding for the Navy. Fantastic. Excuse me, by the way. Let me move this microphone a little closer. Increase the uh, signal-to-noise ratio. Wow, that's a pretty good battleship. A little bit low on the armor. We're getting good technology, though. And somebody asked, by the way, or mentioned, please don't sim through the battles in Rule Waves 2. I won't be able to sim through any of the battles, because my simulator won't be is, is not built to work with Rule Waves 2, at least. I have no idea how the file format and all that will work with Rule Waves 2, so we just can't expect that it's going to work out of the box. And I honestly don't um, want to simulate those battles. I don't want to do this. This is just kind of a fun thing. I would like an auto sim option. Central firing, this is great. Um, uh, diplomatic note. Well, it looks like it's going to be France again. Italy stole technology for us, those bastards. Um, no, we'll do refits. And we have the money. It's tw uh, two months. Let's actually upgrade, first of all, the Brandenburgs, I think. Uh, no, not this. I want to open ship design for rebuild. And let's just get them to use central firing and drop this down by one. Uh, we want to build them in the local yard now, because we can. It's <laughs> so nice. And I think that's all that we want to do. The only change we really want to make. Okay, save. Rebuild. And yes, go ahead and start rebuilding these. All the Brandenburgs are going to get rebuilt. Okay. Uh, no, because we'll do the Verth all at the same time as well. This is pretty good. Very low armor, though. I would not... I don't think that's a very good decision. Increased industrialization improves natural resources. Very good. I think Germany is a really strong choice from the standpoint that their economy ramps up. Austria-Hungary is another one like this. Uh, Japan. That would be kind of interesting. We do have a little bit of money, and we're already doing the refits. Actually, the refits weren't very expensive. It was just fire control. Still have two more months before we can do the refits on the Verth. 
Okay, we'll just continue to piss off France. Okay, well, we'll continue to piss off France. And what do you know? Cruiser battle. Just like that. Unknown ships spotted. Ah, man, I really want to... I really want to do one of these. But that's not the way this is supposed to work. This is supposed to be a nice little teaser for Rule of Waves 2. And also, to, yeah, I feel like we should win this, but we will let... Oh my god, I don't have the... Do I have it? No, that's the wrong one. That's my... Those are my thumbnails. I'm going to pull this off just for a second. I forgot to pull up the similar save game menu. Okay, there we go. So, yes, exit game. And number four. Go down. Simulate. I don't know if that really got in there or not, but whatever. And then pull this back up. Load. And it should have auto-simmed. By the way, we didn't even see what happened, but I'm kind of interested in seeing what happened with this one. Let's find out. So they only had one... Oh, they have a really strong one, though. 750. Actually, ours is better. We fired and we hit. And they fired and hit. Oh, boy. Well, just get me to the result, then. 81%, and they did some damage to our light cruisers. Okay, that's interesting. Seems like, again, these results all seem rather believable. Which is a little bit to my surprise. I expected to have to tweak the simulator. Oh, sorry. I need to go forward one. There we go. <laughs> so, a little bit of damage to them. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually quite nice, the way the simulator is working out so far. All right, well, since we're at war, we're not going to worry. Oh, we, yeah, we need to do that. Thank goodness we have a lot of minesweepers. This time, we don't have to worry about ASW. That should be taken care of very nicely. And I wonder if we should move some of our... Oh, they're actually under construction, so we need to wait one more month. There, they're back. Thank goodness. A cruiser battle again, except... Oh, look at that. <laughs> An escort of light cruisers because we don't have <laughs> any destroyers. Let's look at the log. Alright, so it was two of their really big ones, three of their really big ones against one and a whole bunch. I think we just retreat in this. We plan to close. This is bad. Okay, so we left with only one with moderate. Actually, we won this handily. Handily. So our four light cruisers, one took damage, and they're, all three of their heavy cruisers took damage, and their light cruiser. No, no, nobody was sunk, unfortunately, but, but really well done. Good job, team. But I, I have a feeling that that could have gone the other way. I'm not confident that that was the result. Uh, that was like a good simulate for us, I believe. Because, uh, you know, the game is obvious, I mean, the simulator is obviously agnostic to who is the player and who is the AI. So, which is one kind of disadvantage you could even say. Oh, we took heavy damage? We had one with just light damage, I thought. Maybe I didn't read it completely. But yeah, they took some damage. Okay, so we'll see what that actually means. Means that, yeah, we have two who are off, but their armor cruisers are off for a while. We're blockading them because, you know, England's involved. It's great. And a fleet battle. Okay, this is <laughs> this is going to be the important one. Here we go. All right, so a lot of divisions. Even our destroyers in here. And we have some minesweepers, which are, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, it's funny, I didn't even know my simulator could parse... Minesweepers. <laughs> I forgot that I had added that ability. And we are up against what? We have one of two battleships, another battleship, and one armored cruiser, and then light cruisers and stuff. So it does sort itself according to their size. I believe we are... Yeah. We're closing and they're fleeing. What was this range at? Twenty. So this is going to be nothing, I guess. I imagine that nobody's going to do any damage to anyone. This is, in fact, the case. Um, they probably should have started off 
by closing, yeah, close to cover the fleet's withdrawal. But this early on, basically the gun range is so much less than visibility that it's not really going to help. So, you can, if you see them, you can retreat before you get into range. And the simulator I have built, it intentionally favors people retreating just so that you don't get this um, bad situation basically where uh, uh, you, it like the you just one side just completely runs over the other. It's supposed to be a very conservative simulator so that you can feel comfortable simulating the battles you don't want to fight and not worry about it sinking the entire fleet. Only a navy can win this war. So the blockade itself is going to end up winning this for us because this, these again, this is a very uh, conservative simulator. And I can change that too. Uh, maybe even I can add that as an option to tweak the, uh, like how conservative the results are to make both fleets a little bit more aggressive. It would not be very difficult to do. So the other option is I could actually start declining these battles since uh, obviously even this short amount of time. Wow. Well, I'm, I think we got lucky there. We actually sank two destroyers, which is great, but we are definitely outnumbered. So, big victory for us. Um, destroyer action, definitely not what I want. I probably should have even, even declined this. Look at this, a single destroyer. <laughs> oh, what? No, I want to save. Exit. Sim, game. Oh, you know, if we get into the rhythm of it, it doesn't take too long to do all this. All right, so nothing happened. They actually looks like only had like one destroyer themselves. Uh, yes. Good, fire control, that's fantastic. And I feel like a lot of these things I'm looking at, like, I don't know how much, oh, no, the fire control, I don't know if, so technology, my simulator is technology agnostic, which means fire control is included because that's part of the ship design. But it doesn't know the, like, the technology level of my explosive shells or all that, because that's not part of the ship design files. You'd actually have to read the game files for that, which I can do. But for my original fleet combat, like, custom fleet combat, simulator which was where you load the ship designs yourself just to test them out um this was didn't have i mean there's no ability like what technology level do you load i just choose no technology level which puts everyone on an even playing field but now i can actually probably read the file and learn what people's technology is and actually weight the different ship levels accordingly i mean this is like little projects i can do to improve the simulator although um Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a little bit of extra work. Wait, did we run the simulator? I thought, did I, I just quit and did nothing? <laughs> ah, small merchant. Oh, that's right. This is version 5103. and 504, I've already upgraded this to correctly parse small merchant files. Or correctly include them in the battles, but I haven't run that update myself. So now we can move forward. This looks like a big battle. Oh, I mean, we lost some. So that's interesting. Wow! But a big victory for us. So lots of damage to the battleships. This one might even be worth looking at in the logs. Pretty good spread. I mean, we lost a light cruiser and a destroyer. They lost a light cruiser, nine destroyers, three merchant ships. I really like this. I really like this battle result. It feels very realistic, but it's, again, not... It's very conservative. None of the battleships were lost, but a lot of them took heavy damage. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm about to break my arm patting myself on the back so hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just I haven't experimented enough with the actual Rule the Waves game combat events um, simulation. So, you know, suffered heavy losses to the fleet without commensurate. What? But we just. But the Kaiser should be the kind of temperamental. Historically, that's what they're trying to say. Now, we don't know how France is doing. They might be having some problems with all this blockade business. Um, do not let them off lightly. Thank you. Good. Cruiser battle. How we doing? 
Uh, just a gazelle. Well, just a gazelle. Just a gazelle. Just a gazelle. All right, all right, all right. Shh, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I mean, it could end up being, you know, a bad thing that we do this, but, but we have. Oh, we got two. Um. <laughs> what? This is a lot of unknown ships. If those are actual armored cruisers, we're in trouble. Oh my god. Quickly, run away! <laughs> okay. That's how you fight these battles. So, you know, in my simulator, when it ends up happening that they just leave without taking damage, that's a pretty realistic result. In fact, which is going to take longer, to simulate to the end of this? Yes. It will take longer to simulate to the end of this than just to run my simulator. But now I could take damage, since I know what they are. So we're going to let it run. That'll give me a second to take a... So this is why the simulator is good, because even if there's a battle where you don't want to do it, Obviously, this takes a lot longer than just running the simulator and loading the battle back up. So, even if you were to not want to skip a battle, God, it would be awesome if Frederick could add an option to have the auto sim right there, but... Oh, wow. Seven... I get this every time. Quality 1 7-inch guns. Another cruise battle. We'll sim this one. Although, I really do want to try out my... Armored cruisers. I mean, this is supposed to be auto sim. What what is going to happen? I'm mean, like, here we go. The funny thing is, I could pause this right now. I've never done this before, but I believe I can actually pause this and uh, run the simulator. No, it won't work. It won't work, actually. I was thinking uh, it won't load their hit points. It just loads the file right now. It assumes that you're not, you know, running the game, like, partway through. It assumes that you're starting the battle from the beginning. We've taken some damage, but I believe we're in the w lead here. So without really doing much, I mean, we're not really, um, well, okay, we're just really going to go in then, huh? All right, success, move on to the next. My designs are superior, which I kind of already knew, right? I, I know that this is the bad thing about using a simulator, is that it doesn't simulate the fact that my ships should have an advantage. <laughs> Clearly my ships should have an advantage. Ah, but nonetheless, this was fun. Tailing this one, I didn't even pull up these options. We didn't really need it, considering we were fighting such so close range. Okay. Should we just pull back? Should we call this one for the day? Might accidentally run into them, which would be fun. Well, we'll just wait and see what happens. We only have a little bit longer to go. I assume that one's going to sink. What? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously my fault, but apparently Hertha was uh, flooding the entire time. Wow. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, when you're not paying attention especially. Yeah, boy, did not, did not expect that. Probably there was a lot of messages in the log, I'm sure there was, about the high damage... Let's look. High speed. Ah, it doesn't say it here, but I'm pretty sure that we would have... Oh, it only says limited flooding. But uh, the high speed might have caused this. So it'll be a one-to-one -one fight, which I guess is about even anyway. And I guess this guy can go squad max then. <clears throat> then since the fray is not flooding, right? Oh, she, oh my god, she is. All right. So, one-to-one, -one, and it's a victory for us. Okay, good. 
Well, fair enough. We win some, we lose some. <clears throat> Had I simulated, that probably would have been a much bigger victory, but that's fine. So we'll simulate this one again. Load. We're up to 1905. It's possible. It can be done. I'm, I'm trying to get this done in like five episodes. Roll <laughs> waves in five episodes. Is it possible? Good. All right. Nothing. Just a nothing battle. But it counts for victory points, so you know, there's some progression of the war. Ah! Oh, <laughs> dreadnoughts. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Destroyer. Look, I just don't want to fight a destroyer. I'll take a cruiser battle. Just give me something meaty. Freya by herself? That kind of sounds fun. Gosh, darn it. It's impossible not to fight these battles. <laughs> Don't you run away from me? All right, well, rather than just try to chase him, I'm just gonna save and exit and sim him. We've seen that this happens pretty quick. Maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing, because one bad thing is if, uh, they had other stuff. Oh, actually, we sank two destroyers. Okay, it worked out well for us. They did have an armored cruiser. Our um, armored cruiser seems to be really good, though. Okay, good. So that was good. No. They are raiding a lot. We got to stop those raids. But we're blockading them, so we can't really do that much more than just blockade them anyway. And these raids, I oh, yeah, this is great. Save this one. gotten this is either a really long battle or i found a bug <laughs> just do it this way yep there it goes all right so it was two battleships three battleships five against five plus an armored cruiser plus another armored cruiser not i would say good for us skip to the results okay they lost a the destroyer well, this is pretty pretty minor Ooh, a lot of stuff took damage. Lots of stuff took damage. Well, this one almost, that is almost went down. Might go down, actually, when, in the follow-up. Because, you know, just because it says 18% doesn't mean that that's not going to count as a, <laughs> a sunk ship when we load back in. We'll find out. So we can go to the Thetis herself and see what kind of damage she has. Yeah, she took... Well, she's down to 18% health, so it's kind of what you'd expect. So let's slow these guys down. Did it work? Okay, did not lose her, and they lost the destroyer, just as you know we expected. So I don't know, was that a win? No, that was actually a loss. <laughs> oh, it was strange, because nobody actually took any damage from it. I mean, nobody actually was sunk from it, except for them. Okay, cruiser battle. This is like the never-ending war. All right, back in we go. But I like I like this auto sim because I sometimes it is fun to play just a strategic game. A lot of times this happens actually. Oh, wow, they had battleships and stuff. Pretty glad we ran away from that. Not a fair fight, but. Got to run away from the not fair fights. Okay, we gazelle is intercepted a raider, and it's morning. Um, do I want to fight this? Yes, let's go. Let's fight this if we can. No captain can do very wrong should he put himself alongside the enemy. It's not exactly the quote, but more or less the sentiment. Nelson's famous quote. 
right before the Battle of Trafalgar? Was it then, or was it just his general quote? I don't know. Don't know the exact time frame of it. Success! I wonder kind of how that would been would have been simulated. So I, I probably should just copy these save game uh, the battle files, make backups, and then see how it works. Cross deck fire, my god. I mean we have cross deck fire and three Do we get super firing rear? Because that would be like the the golden. The everything. We need to I guess we probably have a lot of money. I haven't even been paying attention. Man, there's a lot of fights, too. I guess that's the one downside. Okay, I'm starting to see a downside with the simulator being so conservative, is it doesn't destroy any ships, so nobody ever loses... You know, basically nobody ever loses the fight. <laughs> Interesting. Mm, well, they're blockaded, though. I mean, got it. Shouldn't that be taking its toll? Shouldn't it? Yeah, this is a lot of money. Okay, so let's go design ship. Let's make... Ah! A new ship class. It's going to be a Dreadnought. No, no, no. We have Cross-Tech Fire. Don't give me that. We have Cross-Tech Fire. Wow. Why won't it let me... Okay, clear turrets. Let's do this ourselves. We can put at least three turrets there. So... We don't have the ability? <laughs> we still don't have anything above 11 inch guns oh my goodness all right britain what do you have to offer <gasps> what they have quality one 11 they have quality one 11 inch guns and they have 14 inch guns f it man i want 14 inch guns 26,000? Yes, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is quite nice. Yes. Um, okay, so how do we want to do this? Let's get good armor. 2.5, 2, 1. I just think that's a fine combination for me. Low conning tower. Turrets are important now that we're getting more of them. Secondary is down to 2. Her at top up to three. How are we doing on weight? 3,000, so plenty of weight remaining. Well, I don't really know how much the simulator is going to need speed or not, since, I mean, we're cheesing it. I don't want to cheese things too much. I know which things it will and will not take account of. I think we'll go down to 20 for speed. Um, I thought we have, oh, they don't have quality one six inch or seven inch guns. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do like a lot. I don't really think the three-inch guns are going to count for much. Oh, the the double what? Yeah, we don't have the ability to do that. Casemates. Oh, what we have? What? What do we have? We have torpedo defense one. Fantastic. <laughs> we can actually just make this. I think we're going to just make this less tonnage so we build more of them or we can get the armor up a little bit more 12 deck 2.5 these might start fighting a little bit further away this is fine how much does it cost to go to three here not much all right we'll go to four then we'll make it pretty solid yeah i think we'll just do this we'll make it pretty strong And the uh, last bit, maybe a, a little bit of extra ammo. Whoops. Okay, perfect. All right, the Vittelsbach. I like it, I like it a lot. We will build them. We will, wow, we do have a lot of money. Woo, get four. <laughs> it's still actually doing pretty good. I like the Vittles buck. Six 14 inch guns. It's a pretty good first dreadnought. I mean, it would be nice if I had used the wing turret stuff, but I don't know if, I don't know what um, Britain has. So we'll get four of those and then eventually hopefully we can build them in our own home. Of course, right after we do that, there's a lot of 
technology advances, it would have helped us, but that's fine. No problem. So yeah, the question is, do we end up making the sil simulator a little bit more aggressive so that you actually do get sh sunk ships? But again, that's not really the point, right? The point is conservative because you should be fighting, I'm, as in I should be fighting these battles if I didn't have World of Waves 2 coming out in a couple days. Okay, good. And this was a, a runaway, I guess. Wow, they were right there as well. Torpedo could have been a torpedo exchange, that's for sure. <clears throat> oh, interesting. So, very similar to what we designed, but just a lot worse. <clears throat> Convoy attack. We'll just accept all these battles. Since it doesn't take too long to sim. We're making progress slowly. Although maybe I should start declining some. I don't even know what's her victory points at. Okay, that was good. What are the victory points at? We're up by three. I'm surprised that this blockade hasn't just annihilated their ability to do anything. Probably I can put the squeeze on them if we start doing some raiding. But what? what is our situation as far as... Like, what's our foreign tonnage situation? Probably we need to stock up some more stuff. Like, the battleships will probably all move over to Northeast Asia. No, I would say Southeast Asia. If we're block, if we're winning here, should the the verse can't move because they're short range. Um, let's just get these to do raiding here. I mean, I don't know if it'll help since we're already blockading, but check it out. See if it works. Just wanted to see what that was. Not too bad. What is that? I bet it's like 10 seconds to do the simulation. This one was a little bit longer because it took. It seemed like a little longer to load back into the game. Or maybe 20 seconds. Yeah, it would be nice if we could skip that 20 seconds. Enemy coastal raid. <clears throat> Why are they doing an enemy coastal raid? <laughs> when we're blockading them. I should update the new version. Yeah, so by the way, if you have any recommendations based on what you're seeing here, or uh, one of the best things that you can do if you would really like is use a simulator. And I didn't put this in the video d uh, description from the first. Um, oh my god, we lost a lot of merchant ships. <laughs> I don't know if they're programmed to do something correctly anyway, but that's a lot of merchant ships we lost. <laughs> um, destroyers... Three destroyers and one light cruiser. Okay, well this is still I, has a lot of merchant ships. I don't think they're programmed to correctly. Yeah, we lost a lot of merchant ships. I mean, hey, they're really, really cheap, so in some sense it's fine, but it means that we will have to build some more. And you know what? This is kind of a fun way of not having to rebuild them. We just completely build them from scratch. Okay. Oh, wow, okay, so we gained some territory. Wow, well, it's got to be in Southeast Asia. Four points. So we don't really have that much we can do with four points. You know what? We honestly do have... We don't have anything in the Mediterranean, so I don't want those. Okay, we can take Kwangjiao Wan, and that's it. That's all we'll take for now. So that should give us one extra base in Southeast Asia. All right, so good, another war has been fought. Another successful round of simulations. Let's open this back up. So we have our new ships coming in. Um, we have our new minesweepers. Actually, that war ended kind of at the right time. I didn't see a single, I, I mean, I was zipping through, but I didn't see a single remark about the blockade being effective. We got 12 inch guns. <clears throat> we might even have to set some things in research down low. Like we have so much on submarines going on, but I want naval guns. Please. Hmm. Do 
Yeah. Cutbacks are unacceptable. Uh, there's going to be stuff I'm going to miss, by the way, but no, we'll do that. 700 tons, torpedoes, more torpedo production, something else. Strongest language, that was it, Italy apparently, I saw them jump, by all means. Hmm, well, <laughs> Russia, we don't care about, yeah. Sell them everything and they're still behind. I like our new dreadnoughts coming out. Oh, missed that one, but... It could have been important, too. <laughs> Let's look at the research screen. What did we just research? Uh, turrets just finished. Improved toys. Gradual. Okay, so it didn't do anything in particular. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Now we could do the Dreadnought stuff. Now we could actually do... I think we can do cross deck Fire now. Yeah, we'll take another Vittelsbach. Enemy, if you want to go Russia, Russia has South, uh, Northeast Asia stuff we could do as well. Either that or Japan. Hmm. Russia. Let's do Russia. Okay, let's maneuver our ships around as well. We're going to get all the Verth class, even though they are worse at foreign stations. By the way, somebody mentioned that to me. Thank you. I forgot about that. Short range ships get a penalty to foreign tonnage. So we're going to send all these to Southeast Asia. And then um, if it happens to if it happens to be the case that we're going to go to war with Russia, we'll move them all to Northeast Asia. But it would be nice to have a bigger presence in Southeast Asia, maybe get some invasions. <clears throat> yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, I don't know about this one. I guess we'll do it, but because it's money, and I, I'm just of the mind that <clears throat> technology trading with one person is just, it only benefits one nation, but you get the money which benefits you against everyone. I kind of think of, that, of it that way. Um, Freedom is just threatened by Russia. They might not. Oh, they already got here. So let me look at the map. Yeah. So if we go to war with Russia or Japan, in both of those situations, no, Italy. Italy's not one I planned for. We'd have to move over to the Indian Ocean. I do want to build some more cruisers, actually. So right now we're not in very good shape to build cruisers financially. Because we have five fiddle spot class being built. <laughs> Thankfully from Great Britain. Oh, I forgot the Great Britain can have, uh, it does, it's possible for you to get hidden flaws building them in Great Britain, so I should not have done that. Too late. We'll roll the dice with one. It would really suck if our one happened to have that, but we'll find out, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll buy it. We'll let them, money again is money. So... If we go to war with Italy, we would need forces in the Indian Ocean. I guess we can actually move over a battleship or two. What's our base capacity? 15. Not very much. Probably only one battleship. We can move over a battleship and hopefully invade, but I don't think we would. Oh, I guess we can increase the... improve the base. Yeah, we'll do that. Even though we don't really have the money to do these kind of things. Base capacity here is 20. That's also pretty bad. Five, five. No, it's really bad. I guess we would do Cameroon. Okay, and then Southeast Asia, we should be fine. 59, not exactly great. 40, we're doing very good here. Kesho Bay, could probably improve this base as well. We don't have any money. Okay, let's just leave it. Let it sleeping dogs lie for now. Private industry helping us out. Yes, absolutely. Better machinery. We got another one. Fantastic. Two breakthroughs on machinery. Is it time for our first battle cruiser? Not with this much money. Send diplomatic note. 
we going to lose our agreement with <laughs> disarmament? Oh, God. Oh, no. We have four dreadnoughts underway. Oh, no. Why'd you have to do it now? We have five. No. I would love to otherwise, but... Um... Wow. Okay. So, move them up. I'm going to move all of them up. We can move them, rotate them back and forth. Can we even support this many? It's going to be funny if we go north and then we end up not being able to support that many. <laughs> so, I actually want to look at this. What's our usage right now? And Northeast Asia is 11. So I guess it's 8 plus... Oh, no, it's 11. So 11 times 6, 66. So it's going to put us over by 1. Damn it. We do need to improve this damn base. But we don't have the money. Okay, so we'll just... I mean, look, we're looking at this. We can look at it sensibly and make decisions like not moving one of them. Or we could just move the Victoria Elise. Okay, I'm just going to move... No, it's already in Southeast Asia. Never mind. I want it in Southeast Asia. Let's move this one. Nowhere. I still think this is bizarre how to end up doing that, but that's fine. Collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. If you do not build a battleship, you may become the focus of some displeasure. Damn it. Why would you do that too? Uh, so we're, we're okay. Good. Oh, our new ship Schwab and built in Great Britain has given us valuable insights into British machinery development technology. Fantastic. It surpassed her design speed, even better. And we got some armor increase. So we're still okay for... Can we hold this? <laughs> Don't... I guess we're going to have to wait one more month. We're going to have to build another battleship. I guess we'll design a new one. I don't really... I want to use the local yards, and I want to build maybe our first battle cruiser. Like, what do we have in terms of weapons? 12-inch guns... That's really terrible. What about the United States? What, will you let us... What do you have? They have quality 111-inch guns as well. What the hell? Alright, we'll wait one turn. Okay, security agreement. That's the worst time for that to happen, right when we're going to war. High. Get up to high on that as well, and then it doesn't matter anymore. We're going to go to war with Russia, so we're, are we in place for this? Is everyone ready? So, whoops, location and then type. So that should sort now by location and then type. Good, so we have these, then we have the Brandenburgs. Oh, the Worths never got pff, refit with better fire control, which is important. Crap! All right, they're just gonna have to survive until the end of this war because it's obviously too late to try to do that now. You guys are central firing. Is that the best? Yeah. And you guys are central range finder. Unfortunately, yes. But they're very good, experienced crew. Maybe that counts for something. I don't know. And we could fit another. We actually could fit another arm, uh, armored cruiser into. Northeast Asia. We just can't fit another battleship. I think we'll send another one of these actually down to Southeast Asia. Just put a lot of pressure over there. We want to gear up our empire. Uh, yes, we need that technology. And we got 50 million, so that's great. We do, we definitely do need more cruisers. So what's the foreign tonnage situation right now? It's three and six, three and six, okay, fine. Six and we have 15,800, and then this is obviously not a problem, 51,000, good. So, okay, we're actually okay, but if either of these have a problem, like a maintenance issue, and they go into port, we won't have enough ships there, so I'd prefer to have always two. Mm, well, we're gonna need to design a new, unfortunately, we're gonna have to build a new battleship 
because we're going to run out of it as soon as this one's commissioned. There it is. Is it to embarrass? Five inch guns, not really that important. Oh, we are not okay now. Yeah, well, I guess UK still likes us. Maybe we do have to build one more at the Vilsbach. I guess we will. Okay, very good. And then, like I said, the next step is. Ugh. Let's do this. Okay. Yay! We did it! <laughs> Thank goodness we did that in time. Um, France is apparently... What? Well, let's do that. Tensions are up. We're now at war. Okay. Dest <laughs> destroyer action. Get this destroyer out of here. We need to move this as destroyer. It's not short range, right? Move this damn destroyer to... Oh, those are light cruisers. Well, this is actually going to be in our favor. But it's 45 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well... <laughs> So I'm going to call this video to a close here as soon as we know the result of this. We're at war with Russia now. That'll be the contents of the next uh, video. But for now, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. We'll finish this soon. And we're being blockaded. No, that's not good. But until the next one, thanks for watching and take care.